हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज कैम्ब्रिज आई जी सी एस सी पेपर वन जीरो फाइव एट जीरो वन थ्री फ्रॉम अक्टूबर नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो टाइम टू कंप्लीट दिस पेपर इज एन आवर सो हियर आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस सो आई गॉट दिस पेपर फ्रॉम द कैम्ब्रिज साइट्स सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल पेपर that was done in october november 2021 so let's start question 1 write 1 over 2 as a percentage so 1 over 2 we have to multiply it by times 100 so that will give you percent so this is 50 right so this is going to be 50 percent the final answer right now 0.7 as a fraction so this will be 7 over 10 so that is not now uh, possible to simplify so 7 over 10 is the final answer 11 over 20 as a decimal so 11 divided by 20 right so we can just divide 11 by 20 so it is 0.55 right now second question uh, points a and b are plotted on the grid you can see the points on the grid write down the coordinates of point b so point b is here we will go down to see the coordinate of x it is 2 going left coordinate is 3 okay now write ab as a vector so we are writing ab as a vector so that means how much distance how many squares are covered uh, are like moved from a to b so b is here so it is uh, 1 2 3 4 so it will be 4 right 1 2 3 4 and 5 up so both are positive because we are moving right and up on the grid plot point c which is negative 2 and 3 so c negative 2 negative 2 is here 3 is here so this is the point and we remember to label this because this name is c so we have to put c in on this grid right question number 3 find the number of minutes in 4 and 1/2 hours so we have 4 hour plus 1/2 hour 1/2 hour half an hour is 30 minutes so 4 hour is uh, 4 times 60 plus 30 so this is 240 Plus thirty, so in total it is two hundred and seventy minutes, right? Now, moving towards question number four. So write down the mathematical name. So you can see this is a cone. Very easy question. Now, <clears throat> number five. Chen spins a fair-sided dice, uh, fair-sided spinner, numbered one to six. Right. Uh, on the probability scale, draw an arrow to show the probability that spinner lands on four. So it will land on four. Uh, it will be only once, right? Because one to six, we have the probability. Uh, these are the numbers that will be on the dice. So four, four will occur once only out of six. So that means it's going to be one over six. So four out of six, but we are looking for the number. So one will go here because this is divided into six parts: one, two, three, four, five, and six. So first one will be the uh, uh, mark where we will put the arrow. Number six, you can see some numbers here. For this list of numbers, find the mode. So the mode is the number that occurs maximum number of times. So if you look here, so sixteen is coming. Three times, so sixteen will be the mode and the median. <clears throat> For the median, we have to rearrange them and we find the middle value. Then first we have here sixteen, sixteen. This one, there are three sixteens. Then we have twenty-one. After that we have thirty-three, then thirty-five, and uh, then forty-three. Sixty-two and seventy-three, right? So we are looking for the middle number one, two, three, one, two, three, one and one. So we are left with thirty-three. So thirty-three is the median. 
Number 7, you are given R equals to 2T plus 3U. Work out the value when R is 18 and uh, U is uh, 4. We are working, uh, we need to find out the value of T. So, just replace, plug in the values. R is 18, 2 times T remain as it is, plus 3 times U is 4, right? So, 18 equals to 2T plus 12. So, then 18 minus 12 equals to 2t. So, this is 6 equals to 2t divide by 2. Then t is equal to 3. Okay. Number 8. Uh, work out the temperature at 7 a.m. Uh, before that, we are given this. The temperature at midnight was 8. And temperature at noon was 6. Work out the difference between those these two temperatures. So from 8, 8 is here somewhere positive and negative, uh, sorry, negative 8 is this side and this is 6 somewhere here. So it can be closer. You don't need not uh, need to draw this one. It's just we are going to, I'm just explaining how you can work it out. So difference is 8 is here, 6 is here. 8 plus 6, it is 14. So the difference is of 14 degrees Celsius. Part B, the temperature at 7 a.m. is 5 degree Celsius higher than the temperature at midnight. So midnight temperature was negative 8 degree Celsius and now it's higher 5 degrees. So this will be negative 3. Okay. Now number 9, the probability that it rains is 0 0.47. Find the del uh, probability that it does not rain so now probability of happening an event and probability of not happening an event is always one so that means so probability of not having rain not a rain will be 1 minus 0 0.47 so when you subtract this is 1 0 0.53 Number 10, write 26 grams as percentage of 208. So 26 out of 200, but we are looking for the percentage. So that means times 100 will give you the percentage. So you can use directly the calculator. It is 26 times 100 divided by 208. It is 12.5. Five. So, 12.5 is the answer for this one. Now, number 11. From the list, write down the number that that is both prime and factor of 195. So, we are looking for a number which is prime and factor. So, we can first see which uh, we can cross out the number which is not prime here. So, you can see 15 is not prime. So, it cannot be the answer. So now 11, we need to see if they do, they divide this one. Uh, so 11, 195 divided by 11. You get decimal, so it's not the factor. So then we have 195 divided by 13, so it is 15. So one number may be uh, 11 from the list, write down the number. He said that it will be... Uh, maybe let's see if there is another one. Now 195 divided by 17 decimal now. Then 195 divided by 19. So it's again decimal. So only number is 13. Now number 12. <coughs> you can see some signs here. Equal, not equal, greater and less than. Put a ring around each symbol that makes the statement correct. So this is 0 0.5. This is 5 over 100 5 percent so 5 over 100 when you write into decimal uh, so this will be 0 0.05 so now 0 0.05 is uh, less than this one okay so uh, we can have this number we can even put here not equal to or we can have this is greater than this number one of these signs <coughs> No, not one. We have to put both of them because he said uh, put a ring around each of these symbols that make the statement correct. So, we have to put here uh, ring on this one and 
this greater sign now insert one bracket to make this statement correct so uh, we can check by inserting the brackets so 7 minus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so if you have 4 minus 1 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 8 will come 5 so this is not possible so let's say we have bracket uh, in here so then 7 minus 3 minus 2 this 2 and 2 is gone 7 yes so it worked so the answer is 7 so our bracket will go here okay number 13 you can see this diagram the diagram shows two parallel lines intersecting at a straight uh, a straight line find the value of x now if you see here this is a z shape right z shape you can see if this is x this will also be x because this is alternate angle now x plus 30 will be x plus 132 will be 180 degree so x will be 180 minus 132 so 180 minus 132 it's 48 so x will be 48 right now 14 part a there are uh, these are the first four terms of the sequence right find the next term so we need to see the difference you can see you are getting this uh, 23 6 we are getting by adding 6 here so 35 plus 6 will be 41 right now these are the four first four terms uh, for of a different sequence find the next term of this sequence again we need to find out the difference so when you add here um, negative 3 minus 3 so it's 4 so minus 4 when you subtract minus 4 here you subtract minus 4 like minus 4 then minus 4 so this will be 13 negative 13 so it will be negative 4 minus negative 9 uh, sorry negative 9 minus negative 4 it will be negative 13 find the nth term for the nth term we will use the formula t n equals to a plus n minus 1 into t a is the first term which is 3 n minus 1 into t is negative 4 so now open the bracket 3 when you multiply negative 4 and plus 4 so negative 4 n plus 7 so that is the nth term number 15 sara takes five tests her mean score is 62 she takes another text uh, test and her mean score is now 68 work out her score in the sixth test so now if you see this is the score of first five tests so 62 times 5 will give the total score of the five tests so 62 times 5 so 310 this is the score of the of her first five tests now uh, she takes another test now the score is uh, 68 so 68 times 6 this is the score of the sixth test uh, I mean the six tests all the six tests so this is 408 the sixth test so that means 408 minus 310 so this is going to be 98 so final answer would be 98 now number 16 Nina changes 153 euros into dollars when the exchange rate is dollar 1 to 0 0.9 euros right so she want to change 153 euros calculate how much amount in dollar she receives so just cross multiply x times 0 0.9 153 times 1 so it will be 153 over 0 0.9 so 153 divided by 0 0.9 so it is 170 so answer will be hundred and seventy dollars so that's it for this video remaining question we will do in the next video i hope you guys understood everything if there is any doubt anything you can let me know and please support by subscribing the channel and press the like button 
if you like the video and share it with your friends thank you very much for watching god bless you guys